Hello and welcome to my own tutorial. The topic of today's tutorial is how to carry out a winding balance test of a three phase AC induction motor. So let's get started. Ok, so just before we start, during this video I'm making the assumption that you know the basics of how an AC induction motor functions and also how to use a multimeter to measure resistance. Ok, so the internal windings of an AC induction motor can be connected in two basic forms. One is called star and the other is called delta. Now for the star configuration the motor would be connected like this. And that would be U, that would be V and that would be W. So we have a, a basic star configuration and these are the internal windings of the motor. Now if we look at the inside a terminal block of the motor this would show us a connection like this where we have links connected across three of the terminals and the other three terminals are left open to connect U, V and W2 and this is where the internal windings connect across to here now this point and this point are known as the star point. And that's because all the windings are connected together at that point, which is exactly the same as that on the terminal block. So that is known as the star point. Now if we look at the delta connection, we have A connection like this where we have U, V and W and it gives you that nice triangular shape where these are the internal windings of the motor and if we look in a terminal block of the motor for the delta connection we have this configuration where we have the six terminals but this time the links go across the terminals like so. And the internal windings are connected in this configuration inside the motor and then this one goes from there to there. So we have U, V and W and that gives us the delta connection. Now when we do the, the uh, winding balance test we test if it's a star connection from U to the star point, from V to the star point and from W to the star point. Now if we're connecting, if we're doing the test sorry, on the delta configuration we can check between U and V, V and W and then U and W. But bear in mind that this configuration is, is different to the star configuration that means that if we are checking between U and V then we've also got this and this resistance connected in series but also connected in parallel with that. You will get the same reading across U and V, V and W and U and W but if you wanted to calculate it you would have to use a series and a parallel circuit, uh, circuit calculation. So let's have a look at a motor terminal block then. OK, so here I have a WEG premium efficiency IE3 motor. So I'm going to remove the terminal box cover. Remove the gasket. OK, so this exposes the terminals. And as you can see from our previous discussions, we have a star point here. So this particular motor is connected in the star configuration. Now to carry out this test, 
I'm going to use the Fluke 179 multimeter. So I'll just position that there. And you can see the meter is already set to ohms, so I'm going to be reading resistance. So I'll just touch the leads together just to prove that the meter is functioning correctly and I get 0 0.1 ohms which is the resistance of the of the leads so I'm going to put my black lead onto the star point and then starting at U which is this terminal I've got 36.6 ohms so I'll make a note of that then touch it onto the other terminal which is V and I've got 36.6 36.6.7 ohms then I'll touch it onto the next terminal which is W and I've got 37.1 ohms so that motor is showing that it is balanced to within 0.4.5 of an ohm so that motor would function correctly so if we go back to our table right so this is the uh, configuration that the internal windings were connected in for our motor and just for completeness I've marked on the star point so the first reading we took was between U and the star point and we obtained 36.6 ohms the next reading we took was between V and the star point and we obtained 36.7 ohms the next reading we took was between W and the star point and we obtained 37.1 ohms so allowing a little bit of resistance for the terminations that motor looks fairly balanced so they're approximately all the same all the same reading just allowing a little bit of resistance for the terminations so I would say that that motor is balanced and it would function correctly okay so that's the end of uh, this video if you'd like me to work through any uh, particular examples please post them in the comments similarly if you have any questions post them in the comments as well don't forget to subscribe to my channel.